Okay, this is me copying the pattern that I just made. And I will make it available on my Etsy site. Not exactly sure why this is curved, but it might be the stretch. But oh well, good enough. Okay, so now we have a pattern. And we are going to use it to cut the t-shirt that I secured for this occasion. Fin Fang Foom wears purple, so, and I wanted t-shirt fabric because it stretches, and why else might I want to have wanted t-shirt fabric? I'm not exactly sure, but, um, I had an old t-shirt in the closet. And some of you guys are going to be aghast by the t-shirt that I'm using. You're going to be like, oh, how could you do this? Here is the t-shirt that I'm going to use. It's my Maker Camp t-shirt from many moons ago. But the purple is lovely. And this one, if I mess up... I think I can get another one out of it or maybe even a few more right so here we go let's just do it like this right I'm gonna use this for the waistband look see it's already um, scalloped uh, finished I promised this by 6.30 today, and time is getting short, so I gotta make something, right? So now we put this together. Of course it's not perfect. Let's see. Let's fix this on the pattern.
gonna match this edge, the tail edge, not the bottom part, which could be a mistake, but we will see. All right, so I'm gonna keep it on this five L stitch. which is going to be a little contrary okay so what that means is I have to even this off here That matches. Now I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to double stitch it. So I'm going to go for a shorter stitch. Go for three. side out and the other as it is then we stitch it all together
right here we are shorts time how did you get turned Here it is, little pair of shorts for a dinosaur who doesn't have the waistband yet. Here I have elastic. I have to figure out how we're going to make the waistband work. Ooh, there is a hole in the butt. What the heck? Too bad. I'm gonna beat it. How did that happen? Maybe my shirt was old. Hmm. Hey, anyway, we're going to make holes in the butt, so what the heck. All right, so it's very large, very large. Mm, very large. Why is it so big? It's like... What the heck happened? Hmm. Wow. Oh. Gonna stitch this back up. It's way too big. Just gonna take an inch off. a little bit better on the look. I took an inch off and it still feels big still feels big so I'm gonna cut more off what the heck this is so weird I guess I really wasn't paying attention to how big it really needed to be okay so now we're going to take even more off another inch another three-quarter inch should be like this, right? Let's put some So that pattern is too, you know, maybe it just got stretched out. That is a very good possibility. Feels a little bit tighter, which is good, I think. It's barely getting over the feet. Hmm, wow. 
So see that hole there? It actually, I'm going to cut into it to make room for the fin. All right, this is the backup pair of pants. Dino pants, dino shorts. here and maybe it's a little off but oh well too bad okay <coughs> okay right so that's it and then let us He wants to see the knees. So, to see the knees. To see the knees. Oh, so here's the problem. The knees up here and the crotch is here. And there's only like an inch there, right? So, This is where it's like really kind of, oh my God, what is that? You know, <laughs> geez, it's so um, enormous. But that's sort of acceptable, right? And it doesn't have elastic. It really doesn't need it. I mean, would it be better with it? Let's see. I'm sure it would. Um, the hem oh let's turn on the light <clears throat> okay is that better let's see this in the light oh somebody's checking up on me okay update so I've added elastic to the waist and basically for that, you use a little pin. You cut a strip of elastic. Oops. You don't let it fall. You just cut a slit here, take it all around, and thread it through, and then tie it. All right, but I left this all here so that you could see that happening. And on the bottom, um, I went ahead and did a little basting stitch here which is really very primitive and because the back is so large i um i put a tack here and here because it was just like a little too open on the leg so that's it for the first purple number one we'll call it model and i will put up on my website squigglefriends.com i will put up a um pattern for this so that you can do it if you want right fin fang foom cosplay pants and then this is the godzilla classic 1980 vinyl figure bank oh it's a bank it's a bank oh it's a bank it's a savings thing and then you take the money out through the tail oh well that makes sense now okay Who'd have thunk it?
There it is. Fin Fang Foom. Let's put his tail on. So now I've cut the hole for the tail and he's going to put the tail on. Remember that's the white. It's a little awkward. Did you know it was a piggy bank? Yeah. Oh. Okay, does it go? All right. It's okay. Good enough? Good enough. Okay, good enough. Fin Fang Foom. Kuchira. So it wasn't meant to be Fin Fang Foom. It just happened to uh, be Godzilla, and you thought, oh, we could make it Fin Fang Foom, right? Cosplay, yes. Yes. Godzilla cosplaying as Fin Fang Foom.